son Mike. We have the common tradition of putting out cookies and milk and writing the letter to Santa Claus on Christmas Eve, and there was always one special gift that came specifically from Santa. It usually was the racetrack or train set that he had asked for that year, and that I stayed up late to put together on Christmas Eve. When he awoke on Christmas morning, the cookies and milk would be gone, and the special gift all set up under the tree, along with a note from Santa, telling him to be a good boy and to love his mom. The rest of the packages were from me. About the time Mike turned 12, there were discussions about whether or not Santa really existed. Of course, he had questioned it at a younger age, but he seemed to set that aside, and we kept the tradition going. Finally, the next Christmas, Mike said, Mom, I am too old for Santa, so I'm not going to put out any cookies and milk for him, and I'm not going to write him a letter. I went along with his decision, so there were no cookies and milk or a letter for Santa that night. There was no special gift under the tree, and of course, no note from Santa. That next morning, when we woke up, it felt different somehow. There wasn't as much excitement about the presents as in past years. We took our time opening up the gifts, each wrapped by mom or grandma or grandpa. We were both kind of quiet, knowing there was nothing special from Santa, no note, nor empty dishes, but neither of us mentioned it. As the next holiday season approached, Mike said, Mom, I know I'm too old for Santa, but I sure did miss putting out the cookies and milk and writing him a note last year. I reminded him that he told me he didn't believe in Santa anymore, that he was too big for all that. But then he said, can we do it this year like we used to, Mom? Of course, I said yes. We continued our family tradition, including the special gift from Santa under the tree and the little note each Christmas morning until he moved to Florida to be on his own. We all like to keep our children as children for as long as we can. In fact, if you talk to Mike today, this 45-year-old man would tell you that I'm still mothering him too much, but it warmed this mother's heart to realize that though he was a teenager, in this regard, he really wasn't in that much of a hurry to 